Hello, it's Simple Tips here. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while. Um, recently, I've been setting up a website, um, and one of the biggest things I come across was uh, actually hooking up Dreamweaver software to um, a GoDaddy domain. So this is going to be pretty specific to GoDaddy, um, but it wasn't just an easy tutorial online. Had to do it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start off with the basics of setting up a site. So what you're going to do is go to site, new site. Now you're going to need to name your site. So, for example, mine is PC Perfect. Your PC Perfect. And then uh, simply uh, where it says local site folder, you're now going to want to open the folder. You're now going to want to go to where you store your website. And my my route is here. So you're going to double click that. Then you're going to see all of your your basically all your site map in there. I'm going to select that. Now every time you create a new website or add any data to it, it's going to save to that location. And any data you save in that folder will then be automatically uploaded when you when you hit the upload button. So you can hit save there, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight down into servers, because I'm going to set up my GoDaddy server with this. Okay, so all you've got to do is hit the plus button down here. Now it says server name. So here, you're simply going to type in your domain name. So that's your PC Perfect. Dot com. FTP address again your pcperfect.com leave the port should be 21 uh, just leave it whatever default that is and you shouldn't need to adjust that now where it says username you're going to need to go to your da to godaddy.co.uk or .com now you're going to need to visit my account now you need to go down to web hosting you're going to launch web, ho web hosting now you're going to be met with this screen here. Now as you can see, this is my site. Just so you can see it, I'm going to boot it up. All right. Um, oh, there should be an ad there, but there's a I've got ad block on. So you can see, like my website's fully functioning because obviously I've uploaded it previously. So now what you're going to do? Well, don't worry about the server details down the side. What you're going to do? You need to scroll down to FTP users. Now you're going to click on this link. Now it's going to come up with your current FTP user. Now what you're going to do is you're not going to go. That, you are not going to know the login for this. So what you need to do is you need to click that. Now you're going to hit change. Give yourself a new one and hit OK. That's going to process. Now you can see that's pending update. So what you're going to do, that was my old login, I'm just going to jot down what I've changed that to, F1, F2, F. Okay, as you can see now, that is updated to F1, F2, F. You still don't know the password. So again, you're going to click here, and you're going to go to password, and you're going to hit reset. Now it's going to ask you for a new password. If you click this box, you're going to see the criteria. So you're going to need to, it's going to need to be 8 to 14 characters long. Start with a letter. Have a lowercase and an uppercase. Include a number and a special character. Only one of them four special characters. So what I did is I just did PC perfect with um, the odd upper. One, two, three, and an exclamation mark. So that gives me all my criteria I need. And you could do that with anything such as PC world. One, two, three, exclamation mark. Anything you want. So I'm simply going to just copy that into there. Make sure it's identical. Update that. Now that's going to process again with movie magic. Okay. So now that's fully updated. We now know the login and we now know the password. Now we know that's completely done. You need to wait. It's very important you wait for this to to refresh. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So now we can get rid of that page because we have the login details here. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy the F1, F2, F into the username. And then we're going to copy the password we created into the password. All I'm doing there is Control c Control v for anyone that don't know. And then we're going to do is go and hit test. Now this should automatically log in as long as we've waited for it to update through the website. As you can see, Dreamweaver is connected to your web server successfully. This should do it automatically. The only reason it shouldn't do it automatically would be if the port's wrong, okay, or you've entered your server name, FTP addressing wrong. 
but in most cases it's because the username or the password is wrong All right, because the rest is very very simple what we're going to do is hit save save again now that's going to scan my local area as you can see that's plopped all of my site details in there and then I can also switch to server view remote server now that will connect to your server and that's just a quick test on how you can view everything's online there now I'm going to switch back to local view um, I'm going to do is this is a photo of, of a recent gadget I've just bought um, the Razer, it's pretty sweet actually um, and I'm going to upload this to my site so what I'm going to do so I'm going to drag that in here I'm going to go to my website area go to us now I'm going to put that in there I'm going to rename that to something simple such as hello or actually no test test now we're going to go jump back into Dreamweaver and we're going to go to we're going to hit refresh scroll go down to the folder I put in us us there's your test folder all I'm going to do is hit this up arrow here this is upload or put files so I'm going to plot, plot that online and that should upload right so now that's telling me that's completed the task the only way to test it though is to go to my domain forward slash us forward slash test dot jpg enter and there it is there's the photo online alright so now you know your site is successfully updated so you can just edit your HTML files as need be hit the upload button and it will shoot straight online any problems hit me with a message um, email will be in the description thank you very much for watching and goodbye